Cyberlink asked me to review and test a brand new version of PhotoDirector, PhotoDirector 10. Today I'm going to briefly show you around PhotoDirector 10 and how to perform a text clipping mass effect using the software. What is up people, welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. So as of yesterday, Cyberlink released the 10th version of PhotoDirector and you can learn more about that via the link in the description below, as well as grab a 30 day free trial. The paid version is more affordable than Photoshop, so it might be something that you want to look into if you find Adobe products too expensive. I've never actually used the software before, and I found it immensely easy to use right off the bat, mainly because the layout, the user interface and the keyboard shortcuts so closely resemble Photoshop. To demonstrate, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a clipping mask text effect using PhotoDirector 10. So head up to File and then create a new project. And again, this will probably seem familiar as it resembles the interface that Photoshop and other Adobe programs use. You can simply drag and drop imagery into your new project that you wish to work on. However, today we want to click the Layers window located at the top menu. Much like in Photoshop, you have a layer stack window off to the left hand side. You can unlock the background like so and adjust its opacity and everything else is really straightforward and easy to pick up. For the clipping mask text effect, I'm going to need to drag and drop another layer into the layers window. Drag the layer that you wish to use the mask on at the top and then simply press T for the text tool. Then it's just a case of generating your text onto the screen, which will be represented with its very own layer in the layers window. You can locate the text settings right here, which will show you things like text size, leading, kerning and so forth. And these are all accessed in a very easy manner. Also, PhotoDirector will tap into your computer's font library, enabling you to pick any font that you have installed on your device. So when you're ready, make sure the text layer is beneath the fill layer that you want to use the mask on, and then just right click the text layer and simply choose Make Clipping Mask. It really is that easy and from here you can reposition the text or even the texture image that's inside the text. But also you can edit the text itself, so things like the kerning, the lettering and so forth. Like I said, Photo Director is very easy to use, especially if you've used Adobe software before. Check the link in the description below to learn more about Photo Director 10 and also grab yourself a 30 day free trial. It was literally released yesterday, so it's a brand new update that Cyberlink has produced. Earlier today I did release a tutorial, so go back on my channel's homepage and check that out if you missed it. Remember to like and share my content on social media. Also let me know in the comment section below if you'd possibly think about using PhotoDirector for your next project. And until next time guys, design your future today, peace.